can follow me wherever I go. And valid PGN, let's try again. Trying is the first step to failure. Okay, the FEN has to go. And uh, probably it'll work now, maybe. Yeah, game drawn by reputation. Okay, so this was a game, a daily correspondence game. White is 1600 and black is 1146. And the guy wrote like 100 pages of notes about why he did stuff and why he didn't do stuff. I mean, you know. I mean, 11 people have posted in this game analysis since 4 o'clock. Come on, guys. Give me a break. Um, yeah. I posted my game from last tournament where I drew Psy. Yeah, all right. Okay, so listen here said, you know, something. Yeah, most most top players play knight c6 here. Yeah, I mean, I think you should play knight b3 here, not e3. Uh, the engine says they're the same. Now the engine says they're the same. All right, I guess e3 is good. Like one of the main lines after knight c6 is, is e3, knight takes, pawn takes, and d5 and so forth. <clears throat> D5 doesn't look good, giving up. I mean, if you want to play D5, you could preface it with C6 or Knight F6. So D5 I don't like. All right. Definitely could play Knight B3 there instead. C6 is good. Queen H5, god damn. I mean, queen h5 doesn't make any sense. d pawn just hanging. Well, it's a daily game. I don't get it. I just take this. All right. Castles, that's legal. I don't know why he didn't take on d5 or d4. Black doesn't seem like he likes to capture things. Black's had several chances the last three moves to capture stuff, and he doesn't do it. He's against it. All right, now he has to take on d4 because there's a discovered attack. Okay. Take on b7. g6. Wait, g6. g6. What? g6 is bad because this is hanging. g6. This was a daily game and it ended in a draw? G6? Wow. I mean, taking this is correct. Then if he takes the queen, you take the knight, and you're up like 400 pieces. Like this, and then and then I assume that, and then this, and then I, I don't understand what the material is. It's a lot. Um, all right. What, what's happening? All right, I mean, I, I guess this wins too. It's just a strange move. All right, that's a weird move. Uh, unlimited rice pudding, subscribe, thank you. All right, I mean, white's, white's ahead of rook here, so I guess that's good. Takes is good, takes is good. All right, I mean, white's just winning. White has a rook and two bishops for a queen. Could have won a lot easier, but all right. that's just a blunder. I mean, this is the only idea black has, so don't move the bishop where the knight can go here and stay there. Bishop e2, bishop b5, they both win. All right, now the game's interesting. The engine says it's equal now. And that's a blunder. And after queen, queen a6, now queen b6 is winning because you threaten here. Yeah, then if knight d1, rook c8 wins. I understand that. He wants to do a discovered check, but yeah, you want to take this. If you play knight takes e4, which looks sort of obvious, then f5 and rook e8 both win. I didn't see rook e8, but rook e8 might be, might be better than f5 because of this mate. All right, Spencer's going to have. Huh? 
Right? Let's get the hell. Yeah. Mm. All right, I mean, this is just winning for black. This game wasn't... I mean, the weirdest move in the game isn't even g6. It's queen takes h7. I mean, you, you make a queen here, and he takes a queen, and now it's your move. And st which you could take a knight, you could take a bishop, you could take a pawn. Mm -hmm. And instead he takes this useless pawn and then goes here. What? Yeah, I mean, just terrible. All right. Well, let's get back to queen a6. Um... Now the game is, I don't know, slightly better for black, I guess. Again, queen b6 is the right move. Queen b6 just wins now. Hey, he played it, okay. Yeah, in this position, the bishop's trapped, so you can just play rook here. But okay, queen d4 wins also. Kind of stopping rook c8, that's actually funny. King h6. King h6. Okay. What's happening? King g5. What's going on? <laughs> king h6, king g5. That's funny. All right. Somehow, white played rook f1, and rook f1 is the best move. Confuses me. All right. And f4 is the best move. Very strange. Knight c3 is not good. F3 is good. King g1 is legal. Yeah, the engine wants to play queen d7, queen h3, queen g2. And if you can't play queen g2, rook h8 and queen h2. It says black's better after here. A4, confusing the audience. King f5! God damn. All right. I guess this is chess. What's funny is both of these players will be grandmasters in like three years. Damn. This is a very funny blunder. Uh, Raf991, subscribe, thank you. White has a brilliant winning move here, which is bishop c6. If you take it, I have knight d4 check winning the queen. That's actually funny. You can't mate me by going here because I skewer you again, which is also funny. So bishop c6 is a really nice engine move. Unlimited rice pudding. 1,000 cent to do's. Yay. Does the Twitch app work on the new phone? Oh, the 1,000 didn't come in on unlimited rice pudding. Keep trying. Try an unlimited amount of times. Bam. All right, bishop a6 is not a good square for the... Yeah. Now, this is the funniest position in the whole game because now moving the king is forced mate because the queen goes here. So now moving the king is correct because it's blocking the queen. So you have to king here and king here, the engine announces mate. That's not a good square for the bishop. Yay, he did it. But he did it the wrong way. He allowed h4 check. And then the king can go to h2 and stop queen h3. That's actually funny. And that's what happened. The only move. Yep, he did it right. Okay, now king h2, it, it says, is a blunder. But it says it's forced. So now I'm confused. Why is this engine so bad? All right, it's just, it's just mate. King h5 was fine. Okay, now black has forced mate instantly with knife f4, threatening mate. And then if you take it, I go here, threatening mate. And if you stop me, I mate you this way. So knight f4 was mate in three, but he played rook h8. Knight c3 is a good move. Good, good. Now, why doesn't knight f4 work now? I'm guessing it does. Knight f4 does work now. Okay, queen there. And he should, he should take the knight. Oh, give me the knight. Oh, captain, my captain. He stopped knight f4, though, at knight d5. So that's good. King h6, of course, move the king again. Yeah. This is one of the funny g4. God damn. This is one of the funniest games I've ever seen. I love this game. So king h3, of course. Rook h5, of course. There's no point to rook h5. It's just a funny move to make. It's not a good move. B4 is good, because here comes bishop b2 check. 
All right, that hangs the rook. So we can just take the rook and win now. I guess not. All right, and he saved his rook. This game is hilarious. King f7, of course. Now here, white's threatening bishop b2. So king f7 is you know probably not so bad. All right, now black's just getting crushed because white's up like 30 pieces. King e6, that's funny. I like that move. That's funny. Rook takes, all right. Let me throw some more pieces away. And draw by reputation. No, he plays for the win. So in this position, that's funny. The king takes as a draw. The only way to win is knife f5, stopping the perpetual. That's the only winning move. And now you win because there's no perpetual. If you try to perpetual this way, I can take on f3. So if you take my knight, I assume everything wins. This is plus 15. So. I'm guessing Karen won a game. Now it's announcing mate for white. That's funny that knight f5 is the only winning move. But he played here. And then it's a perpetual. That was, uh, that was something. That's one of the most amazing games I've seen. Unbelievable. I like the way Black made all these king moves that didn't really have a point. That was good. And Black missed several mates and White missed several wins. Now, I just realized what I can do now. You know what I can do now? Mm -hmm. Game report. Yes. This is like one of the greatest moments of my life. My life, it shows you what kind of life I've had. All right, whoever guesses the game report, no, no, I guess I can't do that. But. That's right, this, was, this game was like, th this game, I have removed the ban word on Lee Chess, okay? Um, this is a daily correspondence game. I didn't take D5, I was scared of checks and pins. G6, I wanted to win a tempo and missed this tactic. Queen a6, I missed queen b3 threatening mate, but I saw it later. You mean queen b6. I didn't know what I should do to get to his king. Rook h8, knight f4, queen g5, queen d6, rook f4. I mean, that, get, that was just, that was the most awesome, like, exciting game ever played ever. Your opponent being 1,600, though, uh, daily correspondence game. I mean, you know, kidding me? Yeah, that was great. It's funny. M many, 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 many years ago, many, I was, okay, here's what happened. I was in a kid's class. I think it was in Ann Arbor, but I'm not sure. I think it was Ann Arbor, but I and we had a tournament, and there were two kids, and they could never win. There's no way they could win. And they got paired against each other. Okay, and that's, this is stuff you can't even imagine. You can't even understand. If you saw it, you wouldn't understand it. Okay, and before they started, I said just a second, and I was putting the game in chess space while they were playing it. Man, that was awesome. I showed everybody I knew this game. $49.99. Thanks, Bradford. You're the best. Okay, you can't even... I mean, every move was several question marks or illegal. Like, every move. And then at the very, very, very end, one side couldn't legally lose and they lost. I don't even know how it happened. Anyway, I showed everybody I knew this game from my laptop, and they were like, wow. Like, they couldn't, I mean, th th that made this game look like, you know, the greatest chess game ever played ever. Th that game, like, this game might have had some blunders, but that game had illegal moves, and the moves that were legal were worse. It, it was amazing. It was unbelievable. The, the game that I, and I don't have it, of course, but, I mean, I showed everybody that game. That was great. Man, I, I really did a good job putting the game down. I mean, I, I knew what I was doing. All right, this says white played 86.6. 
and black played 81.7. Oh, that says white made five blunders. I'm not sure that's 86.6. A, a chaotic game where both players had many chances to win. That is correct. I like the way the game ended in a draw. That was that was fair. Yeah. But yeah, in this position, I mean, you could take this and make a queen. Now, I have a funny story to tell you. Um, I don't know if this floor still exists, but I assume... About, I don't know, 20 years ago, maybe 25? No, 20. Yeah, about 20 years ago, I gave chess lessons to a florist named Wesley Berry. And actually, I think his dad was Wesley Berry. I think he was the son, but he ran the business. It's a florist shop. They have them all over. It might just be in Michigan, but I think it's all over the country. And I was teaching chess at a Barnes & Noble to some, one of my students. And the guy was always there and he wanted chess lessons too. And I was like, all right. And I remember the first lesson, I said, let's play a game and we'll see how good you are. Okay, and I remember, like I played E4 and then I took this, took this, took this, took this and took everything. And he never took anything. So when the game ended, I had everything plus an extra couple of queens, and he had a king. And I said, okay. I said, your main mistake is you don't take anything. You have to capture pieces. And I showed him how to capture pieces. And then, like, I don't know, like, I don't know, 30 minutes later, he just played normally. <laughs> but, I mean, the first game, you couldn't play worse. If you tried to lose to him, you'd win. He could, you know. But the, I was like, you got to take stuff. You can't just not let, let you know. And he was like, okay, I guess I'll take stuff. That was a funny lesson. But yeah, I mean, you. when I saw this move, I was like, wait, that's my game with Wesley Berry from 20 years ago and the fun game we had. Yeah, usually when they take this, you you, you do that. Yeah, that's that's what you do. All right. Um, yeah. Very suspicious. All right, now we're going to have a four-hour nap. I mean, now we're going to something... Yeah. All right, now I should look at Bradford's games, even though trying to learn was yelling at me. Because Bradford keeps donating $50 here and $100 there and Jebediah here and Ezekiel there. Yeah. Right, Karen? Mm -hmm. I can't find any of Bradford's games, but they're here. Luckily, we have four hours to find them. <sighs> Man, I really can't find his games. I am looking at every other game. That's fun. There's a Bradford game. This was 40-40 game. 40 for 40? Oh, he means that they both drank a 40 ounce during the game. Okay. Um, 2,000 on Lee Chess. It's the best game I've ever played. God damn. I'm guessing you were white because white won. Well, if he's black, that's funnier. Okay, so we got uh, we got Bradford, and then we have like that wasn't good, and then we have two thousand on Lee Chess. So I don't know, four fifty maybe. All right, guess so. His Jack Sue making coffee. All right, and then Bradford was white. All right. Uh, 1,874 subs. More subs. See something outrageous. See if she's listening. Um, yeah. I guess you're listening. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so she's listening. That wasn't very outrageous. Mm -mm. Yeah. For a trillion dollars, when Hamlet says, take thee to a nunnery, what does he mean? He means <clears throat> they couldn't figure out who was winning and they wanted a computer analysis from John Nunn. Now pay up. You think I was right? No, no, no. I'll let you hang out for a while. Analysts are using me. On the stream? Yeah. I have to go to the bathroom, too, so you can start. I don't know. It's starting. What? It's starting.
What? We can go. You can talk to them. Um, right, she's taking off her clothes. I like this. It's a good start. No. This, is, this is a great start. <laughs> and we're going to get some donations now. Give me a second. When I said she's taking off her clothes, you thought she would say, no, I'm not. But then she said, well, it's hot in here. See? That's, 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 that's what happened. Yeah. Mm. Telling Ophelia to chill. Chill, chill them out. Better chill out. Nelly would approve. That's correct. Yay. So, so what are we going to do when you get back? I'm going to analyze this game, okay. and then um, I have to go to the bathroom. So can you carry me? Uh, no. Yeah, can you take this bottle away? Right. Uh, uh. Mm -mm. That's, that's Aviv's one of his top five movie scenes. There's a movie with Steve Martin, so you know it's bad. And then, I don't know the name of that movie. They'll know. And he's at the dinner table, and he's supposed to have some mental issues. Mm -hmm. And he says, can I go to the bathroom? And they're like, yeah. And then he sits there for 10 seconds and says, thank you. Because, you know. You understand the joke? I think. Yeah. That's like one of Aviv's favorites. Aviv really likes that scene. Why am I not surprised? No, that wasn't the jerk. I saw the jerk. That wasn't the jerk. Yeah. Dirty Rotten Scoundrels. That's, that's the movie. Yeah. Man, I saw The Jerk when I was a kid. That's not really a kid's movie. I saw it yeah, when I was a teenager. I, there's one funny scene in that movie that I remember that I can tell on the stream. Yeah, it was a kid. Yeah. Um, some guy keeps trying to kill him, like a serial killer. And then finally he gets him. And he's, he's, he's there, and he says he's serving him with something, some papers. He says, Aren't you, I thought you were here to kill me. He says, no, I stopped doing that. Now I'm a process server. Like, I was a serial killer, but I stopped. Now, I, and then he, he's being sued, so he's, he's pretty certain. Now. That was a good scene. Mm -hmm. uh, David Mamet, kids movie. That's not a kids movie. Is correct. Do you want me to just put my chair up or sit in your chair? Whatever you want to do. No. You own the chess center. I'll just stay here till you get back, and then I'll, right. come, I'll come in screaming, scare you. Whoa. Oh. I saw that, too. I thought I stepped Darn. over. What? Oh, I unplugged it? Well. All right. Time to buy another computer. That is fine. What's that? I'll just unplug it. You can just buy another computer. <laughs> hey, everybody. How proud am I of Ben for doing uh, the 12 hour stream? <laughs> well, he's done them before. So, um, I don't know. I mean,. I guess it is impressive, but, you know, probably not as excited as the first time. But they're always fun. Um, let's see what else people are saying. Hey, Dr. X, X Miss Easy. Yay, we got a raid. Um, thank you, Chess Weeb, for that raid of 76. Ben will be right back, by the way. Chess um, raid, raiders. So don't worry, it's not just me. <laughs> he's gone to the bathroom and then I'm going to sit here with him while he um, analyzes did I do that right did I spell chess weeb right yes so welcome um, everybody from chess weeb stream um, let's see what else people are saying oh you took a nap bishop takes well I'm glad you came back um no, Rye Guy 20. It's not karaoke time. I'm about to move. Yay, trying to learn 500 <laughs> cent to do's. 1,000 cent to do's from Logan Crow. Hey, we just got a raid from Chess Weeb. Raid from Chess Weeb. Mm -hmm. Is that Dennis? I yes. Them all mixed up. Yes. Okay, thank you, Dennis. Yes. I thanked him and gave him a shout out. So let me move over. I'm not going to karaoke for a bit. Mm -hmm. Let me grab my. Yay, Spencer pointed out the raid. I, just, I can't even point out the right. I just had a... You had a V8? COVID test without any further details. And mm -hmm. I didn't get it back yet. Apple side, 760 cent to do's. So I'm not going to... Nice raid, chest weave. Chest yeah, weave rated with a party of 76. Yeah, okay. That's the spirit. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Yeah. Pope Zilla gifted a sub. Hooray. How come we're not having a train? Should it be a train? I'm trying to fix my cord. There's a... Uh, a, a uh, a, uh, Three Stooges, your favorite. Mm -hmm. And they're in court. 
those are always the best when they're in court. And some guy's really mad at them, turns around and looks at them. And he, and he says, what's 75 plus one? Mo says that. Mm-hmm. And he says, 76? And he said, that's the spirit. And then they continue on with the episode. Uh, that, that was the joke. Okay. Right now, what do you want? I'm try to, I think you're off a little bit too much. Maybe you want me to go this way or this way? I think this way. Why don't you just look at the... What? But that's several seconds can in the... Can you th- um, put it here? I can. Now, probably we should move the mic because it's next to me and it's far from you. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. It doesn't seem to be working. Uh, we're not both in the... <laughs> we're both in fine. What do you mean? All right, let me... We're, we're both fine. <laughs> Well, I don't like to be... I'll just sit back here. So it's, it's cut off a little bit. It's fine. We're in now. All right. Um, say Jasper. That's right. He says, I say Jasper. That's what he says. Yeah. Um, Pinky Jim, 77. Uh, thanks, Pinky Jim. We, let's thank Chess We Begin. Mr. Boros. I, I'm doing a 12-hour stream. When am I giving a lesson? Now, come on. All right. Um, waste time raising kids. We're too terrible. You guys like to party. My wife and I started watching The Man with Two Brains with our kids. We turned it off pretty quickly. That's not a kids movie. I don't know that movie. So We don't like to party. Yeah. I have to go to carry Did you have dinner already? I had lunch on the stream. It took me like three hours to eat it. Let me see. So there's a fide master you guys never heard of named George Alexopoulos, okay? He's from Greece, but he's been in the U.S. for many years. He might be in Greece now. I don't know. I haven't seen him in 20 years. But anyway, we used to see him in all these tournaments. He played every tournament. And George is a very funny person. He says a lot of funny stuff. It's not intentional. He's not trying to be funny. But anyway, so we were in Chicago... And we got Chicago stuff pizza delivered. So I got a pizza and I ate like two slices of it. And then I went down to the Skittles room and I gave it to Dmitry Gurevich and Shabalov and they ate it. Okay. George Alexopoulos is a very slow eater, but he's bigger than me. He could eat. And I jokingly asked him, did you finish your pizza? It was a large Chicago stuff pizza. Mm-hmm. So you, if I gave you a trillion dollars, you couldn't eat it. You couldn't. You just you would die first. You know what a Chicago stuff bit large? It's I, insanely ridiculous. Like, I mean, I, could I probably eat I it. I ate two pieces and I gave up. Oh. Me. No, no, nobody can. Nobody can. So I said, okay. "Did you eat the whole pizza as a joke?" And he said, "Yes, but it took me all night." He ate all night, mm-hmm. and then he, he finished it. <laughs> I mean, what? <laughs> Has somebody banned kangaroo? Can you imagine eating a large Chicago stuffed pizza? Jesus Christ. What? Uh, boo. You're missing the point of the story, kangaroo. You're like, it's talking about whether it's pizza or not. That's... Who's a better dancer? <laughs> Nobody knows. Boo earns. Okay, that's better. Yeah. I'm not the best dancer. Uh, you can take out half Illuminati's. Yeah, Illuminati's. Malnati's is a good one. You ate 30 McNuggets, you ate nothing. 30 McNuggets is like one slice of pizza. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you missed slightly the part. Uh, I made myself sick the first time I tried to eat Chicago pizza. Trying is the first step to failure. Yeah. Now, some of the eating contest winners are my heroes. Karen doesn't like that. Okay. Molly Schuyler... She's a genius of the highest caliber, right? Back me up. It's gross to watch her. But I mean, now, there, now there's an eater. I mean, right. it's gross. Yeah. Okay. Uh, she's upsetting. Thank just you, Grudge Upsetting Lord. to watch. I can't even watch the yeah. way she takes the beef. Yeah. If you go to the internet and type in Molly Schuyler, kind of then you'll animal. see what eating is. So she can eat two 72-ounce steaks in like 10 minutes. Man, the truth hurts. The thought of him struggling to stay up and eat. <laughs> oh, man. It's just a strange hobby. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a hobby. They make tons of money. 
All right, it's a strange yeah. job. All right, now for a trillion dollars without looking at the chat. Look at the chat. Okay. Who's the best hot dog eater? What's his name? Um, I'm not going to know. I, I'm going to recognize it when you say it. If I, I'll give you one of his names. You tell me the other one. You want his first name I or his last try, name? Whichever you think. All right, Joey. Darn, I don't know it. Ch- chestnut. <laughs> okay. Okay, before Joey Chestnut existed, who was the best? I don't know. Kobayashi. I mean, I try to blot it Come out. Come on, how do you mind. not know? I mean, yeah, Joey Chestnut. See, gross. He, look at that. Joey Chestnut beat Kobayashi. See? <laughs> Kobayashi was arrested at the hot dog eating contest. That's not a joke. <laughs> or what? He wasn't in the contest because there was some arguments. Then he tried to get in there, and then they had him arrested. Okay. Yeah, that's not even a joke. Yeah. All right. I mean, it's like a little of a joke. Yeah. By the way, uh, uh, Molly Schuyler weighs like one twenty-five. So there you go. Um, blah, blah, blah. Uh-huh. Giordano's. They threw leftover hot dogs into the crowd, <laughs> chanting USA. <laughs> Yay, America. All right. Yeah, see, Call by Ashley getting arrested was hilarious. Is I that, didn't make that up. Is that true, Grunge Ward? Yeah. Arrested <laughs> for eating his competition. By the way, there's a family guy. Here's what happens. Yeah. There's an eating contest, and they're making fun of the real one. And the guy who's supposed to be Kobayashi, but it's just a fat, like, Asian guy. It's not. He, he loses to Chris, right? The, right. the, the son. Right. And then he tries to kill Chris the rest of the episode because he's, like, embarrassed. So he's killing him. <laughs> killing people. Like, he got to kill him. Uh, I live in Brooklyn. 100% true. I lived in Brooklyn before you were born. It's also true. I watched Molly Schuyler eat five pounds of food in two minutes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, she's she's my hero. What do you think about it? Oh, he says gross. Thank you. No, she's the best. <laughs> You're just jealous. That's all. All right. Now, Karen, we had Thai food a few days ago, and she's still eating it. Did you finish it today? I did finish it. What day's today? Saturday. Yeah. Oh, she only ate it on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Yeah. Oh wait, no, wait a minute. We went on Wednesday, right? No, it was Thursday. It was, it was Thursday. Thursday. So you ate a Thursday night, then all day Friday, then Saturday. Mm-hmm. It was good too, right? <laughs> yeah. Go, Karen. Thank you, Grand Tour. You finished it quicker than I thought you... Okay. All right. Now, this is Bradford's greatest game ever. He's been waiting patiently with zen-like patience. Mm-hmm. Right? Like in Chappelle show. Okay. So, got okay, this Bradford. going on. Okay. Hey, now, for a trillion dollars, what's it called when Black plays F5 against D4? What's this called? Uh, let me just look at it. F5. What's that opening? F5 against D4. Um, is it the Dutch? Correct. That's I a trillion dollars. About it. And see, now a lot of people play E6 first for the following reason. Mm-hmm. If you play F5 here, you have to learn E4, you have to learn Bishop G5. So they just go here. Those are people who play the French and the Dutch. There's a lot of people like that, mm-hmm. right? Because those are the two most hated peoples in the world. So they play them. That's what they do. Oh. The French and the Dutch. Mm-hmm. All right. So then after you hear the then they play here, now you have to be willing to play the French, right? Mm-hmm. That's the French after that. Yeah, yeah. All right. Let's see. E4, Botvinnik, mm-hmm. it's, it's, that's correct. <laughs> and so did David Whitehouse, a Michigan player from the 70s. God damn. And many other people. Okay. Uh, blah, blah, blah. You think you drank blah. too much? Who? Uh, Frosty Ball Rock. Well, it's possible. <laughs> Let's see, should I order food or I'm not hungry? Hmm. If evil after something. I don't know what. It's um, 8.30. Can I wait four hours to eat? Wait, how long is it? It's only three hours? Hmm. Thank you, Witch Pond. I'll be home in three hours and I can make my vegan nachos. Hmm. You don't like those terrible egg rolls, right? That's correct. Yeah. Yeah, no food can come here that you would like. I'm not really hungry anyway. Yeah, I wouldn't I, worry about it. I could eat though. Yeah, I mean, mm. get food. I when did I eat? It's like two thirty, and then I ate for like three hours. I'd be sorry, you miss a vive. Okay, let's vote in the chat. Let's vote. Do a poll or something. Should I order food now, or sh- when the stream's over in three hours, go home and eat? Yeah, tough. Do you know Aviv in person? Do you know Ivy Star in person? Probably. That can't be... Um, eat when you're hungry. Mr. Ivy can... Ooh, eat. that guy said both. 
He said, I should order food now, then you when I get home. Now you're making sense. Look, it's a poll. What would Molly do? God damn. <laughs> <laughs> you got to vote in the poll. Fries is winning. <clears throat> well, I got to order. I got to vote yes. Yay. I voted good. Jay Quixote says Karen. Mm. Oh, you're saying you missed the <clears throat> videos with Aviv. Yeah, I think Ben yeah. and Aviv have good um, chemistry, and I do remember the junior closed in particular. Mm -hmm. No's not doing too well. Fries is doing okay. Uh -huh. Gonna need a recount. All right, let's see. I don't know the place could be closed. So Spencer says boo a Eve. <laughs> <laughs> it's got the boo emote with you. <laughs> I don't even know how to order anymore. I'm, so I'm glad a Eve doesn't get on too much. <clears throat> yes wins, 53%. Mm -hmm. Fries was second. Oh, wait a minute. I'm getting a text from Trump. He says, I lost. I can't order food. Damn. I hope the same person delivers me food that delivered last time. Eating is an act of holiness. What? Says JSMWY. That doesn't New York make City. any sense. <laughs> tofu and spicy tofu sauce. Can you order vegan pizza, says Twitchy. I can. Hey, Twitchy. This says the, the <laughs> place I'm ordering from is closed. It says every place I order from is closed. I feel so bad, C.L. Smith. I do want to play Among Us. Um, I had just been so busy. And then I uh, had so rel my dad passed away. I can go ahead and mention because I think you guys already knew that. So I've been trying to arrange his funeral um, and just busy, 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 busy. I do want to play Among Us. So maybe I need to give myself a deadline. Thank you, the peacekeeper. V2. <laughs> yeah, I do want to play CL Smith. We need to get up. We need to get together like seven or eight streamers that will do it. And I think um, Chess Coach said he would do it. Maybe Endo, she can be pressed into doing it, but she's not that interested in doing it. Ooh. Hey, I'm Manu. Yeah, we're still doing the Nun book. I was wondering where you've been. Thank you, Ivy Sar. Yeah, my dad is, was sick for a while. So, um, yeah, thank you, A. Becker. I didn't, talk, I didn't talk about it on my stream because I just wasn't ready to talk about it yet, but it's been a few days now. I'm going to um, try to order Indian. Do you want Papa Dom? Um, yeah, and you, I want, and you want your usual, uh, you know, your pit mango pickle and <laughs> that kind of stuff. Yeah, I could probably eat something Papa Dom. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool, C.L. Smith. I didn't forget about it. I'm going to, I swear I'm going to get motivated. We'll send some messages about it and maybe round up a couple more that might want to do it as well. Maybe Ben can be pressed into doing it. What am I going to do? <laughs> Among Us. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ben's not really interested, but I'm going to get trained on how to play it by the best of the best, my older son, a live teenager. He knows how to do stuff pretty well. Then I shall come for all of you. C.L. Smith in particular. I'm not even getting a main dish. I'm just getting like a soup and an appetizer. Okay. And then the papadam, obviously. Mm -hmm. I wonder if this will work. Pretty cheap Indian food because I didn't get any food. You like Among Us Uber Kong? I haven't played it, but I can tell it's my kind of game. I didn't think I was getting Indian. They're pretty slow, so the stream might end in three hours before they deliver. I have a really, really good poker face. I'm going to be very good at Among Us. Would she say poker me. face? Mm -hmm. Is that what you said? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You'll be impressed if Ben plays. I don't think that people are going to you know, think that I could be the bad guy. I mean, please. I just assume that. I'm never the you bad guy. You know, we're guy. married. So. <laughs> um... I'm going to get rid of my AMC messages. Why do I still <laughs> Heading that for out? the dark side. No, I mean, I just thought it would be fun to play. But I I love chess. Man, so. Bradford must be furious. Okay, Dutch. That's my main thing. Okay, then he's going to play the, you know, stone wall. I also want to stream ping pong still. 
It's funny, Queen C2, there's an idea for white here, which white didn't know. You're putting pressure here. So when, when you take on D5, you, you want to take this way. And then you have this pawn chain. And then one of your knights goes here like this mm -hmm. and so forth. You know, or this, whatever. And taking this way is bad because now you just have this backward pawn. The knight should be on C6, etc. So the point of queen, queen C2 is you put pressure on F5. So now you could take, and if he takes with the E pawn, you take the pawn on F5. Right. So black should do something about that, but he didn't. It's like random move. Now he should definitely take this. Okay. Yes. And you can see the engine says that's you know, mm -hmm. a good move. Okay, but he played here, which, you know, I mean, white's also doing good here. Okay, now this move is crazy like Fox News, which means it's not that crazy anymore. Like a week ago, two weeks ago, that would have been really crazy. Now yeah. it's like the fourth craziest move. Mm -hmm. All right, then he always retreated. I agree with that. And this pawn structure reminds you of which game that I won in the 1994 U.S. Championship, which is in here. <laughs> which game? Yeah, I don't know. In what round? I don't know. I it was nine. Round, <laughs> well, nine's close. It was after round nine. Let's see. I think it was, yeah, I think it was 11. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, see Dmitry Gurevich. Mm -hmm. Now, what, let me read you Black's moves. F5, E6, C6, D5, and then and then G5. All those moves that he played. Mm -hmm. Right, very similar. All right. Fox is slightly less crazy. I will give you money. I like the way, I like that so far. If you sponsor my extension, it's a cheating software. Oh, boy. That it sounds good. Scripted. That sounds good. Banned. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, snap. All right, he's banned. Uh, Fox News was like, we got to hit the brakes here. Let's see. And then somebody, somebody like, you know, right, uh, trying to learn. Report official fat kid to, you know, chess.com for cheating software and call the police. And, you know, get him on official fat kid. I mean, he does And what, what you do is, when the police <laughs> answers say, put on an APB for official fat kid, they'll get right on it. The, yeah. He doesn't have any cheating software. Oh, okay. No. But he'll give me $500. That Damn. was just a joke. I know. He's but he's gonna, banned. He's going to be asking to get back in any he's moment. He's not getting back in. Send me a note, fat I'll just kid. ban him again. Mm. No, just joking. Yeah. Also, you spelled address wrong, so you're banned, peacekeeper. Okay. So G4, G4, good, knight E5. See, I don't like the way black's playing because black's playing super aggressively, right? You agree. Mm -hmm. But, you know, look at this. Come on. You know, come on. <clears throat> I mean, he thinks he's Mike Hummer or something. Um, can you please ban me just a little bit? Yes. There you go. Okay. You're timed out so you can get back in. Yeah, that is kind of like a band light. Yeah, I did good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so knight gf6, that's legal. Can't argue with that. Knight c3 is good. Knight e4 is legal. Bishop f4 is good. Queen a5 is barely, you know, barely a GM. Bishop takes knight, not a move I would have considered. So I would just castle, but the engine wants to play h3. Oh, now the engine plays bishop takes e4. Because if you take this way, you win a pawn. I mean, I would never play bishop takes e4, but the engine likes it. D takes e4 is what I would assume. h3 is obviously a good move. Okay, now we got this isolated pawn, weak pawn, bad bishop. So far, so good. It's a dodge, so what do you want? See you, Frosty Balrog. Have a good evening. What? You can't leave. His food is ready. <laughs> That's legal means, you know, it's not the best move, but we're moving on. Yeah. Castles is good. Rook G8 is legal. Rook H1 is good. Bishop D7 is a move, I guess. I like C5. You can play Knight C4 later. Okay. Always play King B1. Good. Queen B3 is good. Attacking this E6 pawn. I mean, what's funny is... Strategically, black's lost because black has no counterplay. Black can't do anything. And even though material's equal, the engine says white's up 5.7. That's how bad black's position is. 
And a lot of that stems from, you know, and obviously, you know, it's Black is 2000 on Lee Chess. So, yeah. But Black didn't develop any of his pieces before he started pushing all of his pawns. F5, G5, G4. And his pieces are all in the back rank. And as a consequence, White has a big lead in development. And when you play an opening like the Dutch, but any opening, there's pluses and minuses. The plus for black in the Lenin, in the Stonewall is you get the E4 square. So you're playing knight E4 and pawn E4, and you're, you're going forward. The negative is the bishop, the white square bishop sucks. It's like a French on steroids. It's like you play the French and your bishop sucks, but you're also putting all of your pawns on white squares. So your bishop really sucks. And the advantage that black gets from the pawn on e4 is negligible. The bishop being terrible is bad. The e pawn being weak is bad. The, the isolated pawn is bad. The white knight on e5 is just sitting there forever. So now the engine says white is plus eight because black just has no counterplay. Cam Zach subscribed. Hooray. Okay, rook d5 is actually the engine move. That's how bad his position is. Okay, the engine doesn't take the rook. It sacrifices the exchange itself. Big money, big money, stop. Yay, it's big money. Wow. 100 cent to do's. That's great. Trump's anti-cheating fund. <laughs> I hear the sound of an abundance of something. Yay. Yay. Great donation. Thank right. you. Right, not as good as what donation? What? What is that second to? Um, $100. From tonight, you mean? No. Oh. Just in general, what would that be? Like, that's the second best donation. What's the best? Just in general. I don't know. Ninety nine ninety nine. Oh. Nine nine. Right, but that's close. Yeah. Yay, a hundred dollars. Now you guys feel bad, so you should donate a hundred, so you don't feel bad. Like oh, okay. All right. Um. Yay! A train was going, and I didn't know it. Or that was from like a, like five hours ago. Mm -hmm. That was from five well, hours. Thank ago. you for that donation. Yeah. Why not 900? No, I don't think that would go through. Mm -hmm. So this is funny. Let me tell you how good sacking the exchange is, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Taking that wins an exchange. You agree? Mm -hmm. Taking this sacrifices an exchange. Mm -hmm. And the engine says that's better. That's sack the thing. You sack the exchange. Mm -hmm. Hey, another train just happened after it said the other one ended. Um. You know, Twitch is always broken. Yeah. That Twitch notification is from like an hour ago. It just popped up. Mm. I've had the notifications of the end of this of the trains like later instead of like when it happens. Mm. I just got a notification about the end of the last train. Then when I clicked an X, then a new train started, which I like. A Becker, 100 send to do's. Apple side, 100 send to do's. Another train. Quiets you, 9 send to do's. Hikaru froze my bank account. To... No, no, I have him unfreeze it. Mm -hmm. Right, I got two exchanges. Now, when I say this move is better, they're both plus a thousand. It doesn't matter. I mean, taking things is good. Um, Pinky Jim gifted a sub. Thank you. Yay, thank you, Pinky. Now he sacked the exchange. That's correct. Right? Mm -hmm. Right, look at that penetration. Might remind you of date night? Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, Queen D8, always retreat. That's good. Now, Karen, if the bishop moves anywhere, it doesn't matter where. Here, 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 I don't care. Mm -hmm. Okay, what would white do? And queen b7. Correct. Right. So he didn't do that. He played queen d8, always retreat. Mm -hmm. Queen a4, threatening a7. Now, you can't play king b8 because you see this bishop here. Um, see that? Hang on a second. Let's see. See here. Yes. So he can't play king b8. Too dangerous. Right. Okay, so he played a6. Queen b3, always retreat. What is that noise? Mm -hmm. Sounds like fireworks. Okay, now... <clears throat> White played with great vengeance and furious anger in this position. Okay. Now, here's a mistake Karen makes sometimes, but I would never accuse her of doing it. And I accuse you guys of doing it every game you play. I always accuse you guys. Okay. Also, the train needs to, some help here. You see how black played bishop g6, attacking your rook, and you could take it. It's defended. 
So that's like a lot going on over there. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the typical player like stares at the bishop and tries to figure out what to do. If you're a boy scout, you run, right? You stare at the bishop and then you're like, oh my God, then you run away, right? You agree. Karen agrees. Forget about that. What about what white's doing? What about white's, what, you know, come on. <clears throat> so Bradford ignored that and played knight takes c6. And you will know his name is the Lord. Now, obviously, I'm threatening your queen, and I got a double attack on your bishop, so you got to take care of that. 230 cent to do from Appleside. Mr. Popezilla gifted a sub. Camzak gifted 10 subs. Yay. Wow. Lots of subs. I can barely afford Indian on these subs. That's good. Because Indian is <laughs> expensive. Yay. Great. Lots of subs all at once. Hooray. Right. Go, Camzak. Yeah, then this thing's broken, I can tell. Mm -hmm. It's just broken. It's like, what's happening? Okay, it's fixed itself. That's good. More like, not Bradford, but Brad Lord. That's how well he's playing. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> what's your opinion of Lord? Which do you like more? The Lord, like, you know, like God? Or <laughs> Lord the singer? I only know that one song that Lord sang. Well, what's better, that or like the Lord? <laughs> You know, they're both all right. <laughs> they're both all right. All right. Okay, so you have to take the knight, right? Okay, now here comes the penetration. Okay, you have to go here. Then you see how the bishop's pinned? Yes. So you have to play here or here. Now, this move isn't good because after this, the truth hurts. Mm. Sometimes when the penetration, it hurts. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> so I assume king e8 was played. Queen c6, good, good. Queen d7, looks good to me. Let's see what else he can play. King f8. All right, now, in this position, white has mate in five. Okay? The first move is check. What's the first move? Let's see. The first move is check, and it's mate in five. Mm -hmm. Okay, so bishop h6. Right. Okay, now the only legal move is rook g7. Mm -hmm. Notice the rook is pinned because I said so. Because the rook is pinned, mm -hmm. we have a move that we normally couldn't play, but since the rook is pinned, we can play it. Taking advantage of the pinned rook. And Karen's like, why can't I just take the rook? What's happening? You can, but it's quicker if you play another move. Taking advantage of the rook not being able to move. Right. So I would say rook h8. Rook h8 is yeah. also made, and start, but a better, even that better. Better better than that? Better. Uh, okay. Every move wins, but this wins the quickest. Um, let's see. Go hype train. Yay, lots of weird noises. 400 cent to do's. Thanks, Appleside. So before oh, the stream starts... Takes. Before the stream starts, I have to guess how many subs we'll lose until the stream ends, right? Because if it says we have 1,750 subs, and then I put that in the goal, the green thing, and then subs aren't subbed anymore because they were gifted, then the numbers don't match. So I have to have the numbers different so yeah, they, they become even. Queen right now it's 1881 and 1888, so I did pretty good. Queen takes G6. Queen takes G6, mm -hmm. right. Yeah, then that's yeah. good for white. Mm. Yeah. Very good for white. God damn. Okay. So instead of that, <clears throat> instead of king f8 losing to bishop h6, queen d7 was played. Right? Okay. Now queen a it's the only winning move. There is no other winning move. If you play bishop to d8, obviously I can take the queen. Right? I could. Mm -hmm. Okay. So he, so he played queen d8. And now, white has more than one move that wins, but he has to always repeat. Now he has a brilliant winning move. Okay, see this dark squared bishop? Mm -hmm. That would be better if black didn't have a dark squared bishop. Then that bishop would rule. So based on that, and based on my rules, always, then what did white do here? And the rook takes e7. Rook takes e7, right. Mm -hmm. He can't take with the queen because it's illegal. Right. If you take with the king, then this move wins the queen. Mm-hmm. So after Rook takes, he resigned. Yeah. Then Bradford was trash talking for several days. Right? And he was like calling everybody. Like Rook takes E7. Yeah. Exactly. 
Anyway, that bishop was really good except for one thing. Mm. The bishop was like hiding behind the pawn chain. This bishop was outside the pawn chain. Yeah. So putting all your pawns on the same color makes your bishop not so good. One thing I tell my students all the time when I had students is you can't play super aggressively when you haven't developed your pieces yet. And then my comer is like, what? So. Mm -hmm. Good game, Bradford. Yeah. And also I beat Dmitry Gurevich. Yeah. Now we'll go to the internet and we'll show you the similarity. So Feingold, Gurevich, 1994, Key West. Okay, I made videos about it. Ah, I still can't find it. Oh, there it is. Borisovich, god damn. All right, and then we'll and then we'll copy paste view, and then we'll do this. See that game reminded me of that game because I said so. And then PGN, and then paste. Okay, so in this tournament, <clears throat> I won two games. I beat Boris Crybaby Kryman, and I beat Dmitry Gurevich, who has a very long middle name. Now, let's talk about the five games that I lost, because mm -hmm. it was six. I lost six games. Mm. I lost, I have to remember, because it was 1994. So, I lost to Christensen, and I had forced mate. I lost to Sarawan, a drawn ending. I lost to Yermolinsky, who crushed me. I lost to Alexander Ivanov in 100,000 moves. I lost to Joel Benjamin on time, but he was winning. And who's the sixth person I lost to? Walter Brown. Yeah, he crushed me. All right, so this is the penultimate round, round 11. Oh, wait a minute. No, this is the second from penultimate round. This is round 11. There's 13 rounds. Okay, and then I was white and a Dutch. And you can see this looks pretty similar to the last game. See the mm -hmm. pawn structure? Mm -hmm. Okay. Then when I tried to trade bishops, he played the Consuela defense. When I tried to trade the dark square bishops, you can see his white square bishops no good. Mm -hmm. He said, no, no. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then he played G5. He put it in G. I mean, he's a G. And then I always retreat, right? So this looks like the same kind of pawn structure we just looked at. Similar. See this? Mm -hmm. see? Yeah. Also, Dimitri's development isn't very good. Frankly, terrible. Okay, and then the game's sort of boring, so we'll get to the end of the game when it was exciting. Okay, here. So I got the F file. Hooray for me. I played bishop A3, threatening rook F8 check. You agree. So he played bishop E7, obviously. Now, with his bishop on D8, he's defending the F6 weakness. But now he's not, because his bishop's not on D8. So now I can come get him. Hooray, go to F6. Rawr, mad. Okay. Then he played here, and his flag fell, and he resigned. <laughs> they, they really did both happen. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the reason is, knight F8 check is annoying, and queen F5 is annoying. They're both forced mate. But that's a good square for his knight. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The other game that I won was suspicious, but this game was actually pretty good. Yeah. So his, yeah, his time ran out here and so forth. No, the hype train's dead, but we won't... Oh, we did see it. All right. So go, Dimitri. Hmm. Is, is there what it means second from penultimate? Probably. 14 subs, 839 bits. Papa John's. Papa John's. <laughs> Let's see. India Chef says... Why are you ordering so late? All right. They're still open? Yeah, they're delivering, yeah. Mm. I mean, they're late, so they're... Are there any more tournaments planned? No, but we could have a tournament. We'll do some game analysis. Okay, next game to be analyzed is from trying to learn. And what are we going to do, Karen? Try to analyze his game. Mm. Okay. This is my game from a 10-minute tournament... I got in time trouble, so ignore the last few moves. My opponent was rated 1688, and I'm 1428. I don't know what color he was. E4, C5, C3. I still don't know what color he was. Probably white. Will the PGN work? Do you believe in miracles? Yes. Trying to learn, were you white or black? Let me see. 
I'm, I think you were white, but I don't know. All right, he won't say. Uh, so trying to learn, and then who? J S M J S M Y W Q New York City. Oh man, if trying to learn was black, I'm gonna be so mad because I have to switch them. And I'll be banned. Uh, Michael Jackson says it doesn't matter. That's correct. Trying did you discuss why the fraud did not happen? Which fraud? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I really don't. You want nine ninety nine? Yay! Wait, this is identity. What? I don't understand. It won't let you post what? I got a, a donation. And auto moderation held it and said, reason identity. Hmm? What does that mean? I don't know. Can somebody explain mm -hmm. what, can somebody explain that? Thank you that, for those sent days, Cam. And all those um, subs that you did. Yeah, thank you. But I don't understand why the auto moderation held it and I had to allow That's it. That's weird. That was crazy. Maybe it doesn't like the little heart thing, which I can't even tell what that's doing. You know, it's a horse and such. I don't know. Cam is a VIP. He is? I didn't say he's a VIP. It says he's a conductor. We can make him a VIP. Let's see. I don't know how to make somebody a VIP. VIP Cam and then underscore Kasparov or something. I can't underscore, so you can't be a VIP. Is this it? Yeah. All right. Kamala's a VIP. Almost spelled correctly. Um, you're not you. Well, you're not me either. Or are you? Maybe you are me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thanking him for the VIP. All right. So this is trying to learn white, and then and then the game was the 10-minute game. All right. So far, nobody's blundered all their pieces. So probably cheating. So C takes as a mistake. Whenever white plays the C3 Sicilian and plays d4 later, you never want to take that because that lets the knight go to c3. This is the disadvantage of, yeah. of playing uh, c3. In the, so you want to play d5 here. Uh, 645 centidues. Now you're a super VIP. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So in the c3 Sicilian, you can't play knight c3. Right? Mm -hmm. That's one of the disadvantages of ever playing C3 in any opening is you can't play knight C3. Well, if you take it, then the guy can play knight C3. So now we're just in an advanced French where black's taken too quickly so white can play knight C3 with advantage. So this is an advanced French that's good for white. I would play A3, but all right, A3's fine. Definitely would play b4. It's not a great square for the bishop. Now, the problem with black's position is there's only one way to get counterplay, and I don't allow it. What would that be, Karen? I don't know. What, what move do I not allow? Oh, what do you not allow? Oh, f6. Right. I mean, if black doesn't play f6 <laughs> in the next 10 moves, I mean, he's going to like move on the first rank. Then you got nothing. I mean, now, if you play f6, then you attack e5 a lot. So, boo, boo. f6 is, is okay in the French sometimes. Now, he played f6. Never play f6. Mm -hmm. Right. Knight a4 is not a good move. I'm not sure what is a good move. I guess b5 is a good move. Then if he takes it, you take with the knight. You can try to get that bishop. Bishop d3 is also a good move. <clears throat> then you can play some trying to learn patented Greek gift sacrifice. Right? It's funny because trying to learn in real life has never given a gift. But in chess, Greek gift all the time. Right? That's why trying to learn made a mistake. He doesn't know this. I never said it on the stream because I didn't want him to get upset. But don't Make sure your wife doesn't hear this. He was trying to play a Greek gift and he accidentally sent us a case of Greek yogurt. He was like clicking the wrong button. That was the only Greek gift he's ever given. All right. Uh, that's not true, C.L. Smith. Uh, so, wait, what's not true? You can't even... I no, that, that's me, C.L. Smith, not Karen. <laughs> well, 
Well, Spencer accuses me that I play F6 quite a lot. Let's have a look at something that'll make you happy. Ready? Yeah. The top people in bits. God damn. Yeah, wow. The, they, they have like at the top of the stream, you can see who has the most subs, who has the most bits. The most bits, it's like the guy in first is ahead of the next 400 guys behind him added up. Mm -hmm. Ridiculous. All right. The truth hurts. Karen's committed. What's your rating, Karen? All caps. God damn. Okay. So knight a4, eh, f6. Always take on f6. Rook takes f6. Knight c5 is okay. Now this knight wants to control the e5 square, right? Uh -huh. see, so knight c5 I like because he can go here and here later. Uh -huh. b6 kicking him out. Okay. Now trying to learn... We've discussed this many times on stream. Not you, but just with other people. Okay? Two pieces is better than a rook. So when you play bishop g5, that gives up two pieces for a rook. So don't do that. And there's actually more than one way for, for black to do it. Black can not only take the knight, he can also take this knight here. I don't know which is better. Yeah. So after this, you're losing. You have a losing position. You can't do that. And also, we've discussed many times when somebody attacks one of your pieces, move them away. Like the knight's attacked, move it away. Play bishop g5 later. You can't have your knight attacked and then play bishop g5. If bishop g5 was good, you're a genius. And we all know... Okay. <clears throat> uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Okay. So the engine says this is plus 2.3, this is plus 1.4, terrible. Okay, your opponent played, and again, this is something we discussed before, like five minutes ago. Mm -hmm. When you played bishop g5, your opponent's like, bishop g5, that attacks my rook. He talks sort of funny, your opponent. Mm -hmm. And then moved his rook. Not like, this is attacked, this is attacked. I don't know which pieces to take. There's so many pieces to take. Okay, so rook g6, terrible. Knight takes a6, I would never, ever, ever consider. Ever. Man, knight takes a6, the idea is to play b5 and fork next move. Fork town, population, you guys. So that's the engine move. If your opponent plays knight a6, they're using an engine. Nobody would play knight a6. And the idea is if whichever way you take, there's b5. So it's like, you know, okay, knight b3, that's actually the engine move. Queen f8 is a weird move, but all right. Bishop d3 is excellent. Knife f5 is forced. Rook c1 is obviously good. Bishop b7 is legal. Probably the bishop belongs on d7 because here it's blocked by everything. And on d7, it protects the weak e-pawn. Let me see what the engine says. It says, yeah, it says bishop d7 is a little better. Cam Zach being a new VIP. Oh, I'm on Chess TV now, by the way. Okay. I'm supposed to be on 10 to 11, but I'm on 9 to 11 because I guess it hasn't started yet. So you might get removed in a minute? Maybe, or it could be that they meant starting next week. Yeah, that wasn't real clear. That's right, because I wasn't on last night at all, so. Yeah. Yeah. Wasn't clear. Yay, Chess TV. Mother son of a... If you're on Chess TV, welcome. Soon, you'll watch me eat some Indian food. Mm -hmm. We're at the end of a 12-hour stream, and by the end, I mean we're, we're not near the end yet. Um, I've streamed nine and a half hours. My voice is gone. This is what I sound like when my voice is gone. 20 times louder than Karen. When I have my voice completely, 100 times louder than Karen. Right, Karen? That's probably true. Yeah, see, there you go. <laughs> That's why the mic's near her. Yeah. No, I mean, my, I, I mean, if somebody has COVID, and people in my chat said they had COVID. This guy's like, I have COVID. Yeah. Like somebody in the chat. Yeah, earlier. Like, he, was, he wasn't kidding. He said he works at CVS. The manager gave it to him. He wasn't kidding. He was mm. on the show. Oh, yeah. Anyway, if you have COVID and you're having, like, trouble with your throat, my, my throat hurts more. I mean, because talk nine hours straight. That's, you know, my, my throat can't handle that. Um, high chest TV... Um, etc. Mm -hmm. King's Indian food. As loud as ever. Yeah, my throat really hurts. I was just looking at my phone. Was yeah. me. Um, overload of the knights doing too much is protecting one thing. Okay. So, white played queen d2. 
That way the knight's not overloaded. The queen defends the bishop. Good. H6, putting it in H. Bishop H4. The engine's not a bishop H4 fan because of the knight. Um, bishop here, bishop here, here's better. The reason it likes bishop E3 more is if you take it, I take it with a pawn, and I open up this line against your queen and your rook. So knight takes here is more dangerous. Okay, bishop h4 is legal. Knight takes is correct. Knight takes is correct. Okay, now again, we keep discussing the same thing over and over again because you guys keep doing it wrong. The rook is attacked twice. You agree. Mm -hmm. Black didn't move the rook. People yeah. don't want to, they don't want to, they're like, I don't want to move my rook. Well, I'm Trump. Got to move your rook. Okay, so he played queen d6 threatening mate. They can't help, they can't help it. They have to do that. They, they, they got to do it. Okay. Now, actually, F4 is correct because um, it defends E5 and it, it crushes the rook more. F4 is actually better than G3, but G3 is also good. Rook F6 is legal. Now you can play F4. Black really wants to play E5 because if he plays E4 or takes on D4, that's good. If these pawns get traded, eventually my bishop might be good. Eventually. The only hope to get this bishop active ever is to is to get is to move this pawn. So e5 is the only hope. So so f4 would be a good move. Okay, rook e1, also good. Rook e8, not not so bad. Bishop g6 attacking the rook because you're low rated, so you attack a rook. Shiny, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's not I don't know. It's <clears throat> apropos of nothing. All right, I think rook e7's bad. Yeah, rook somewhere that's not e7. Yeah, that rook's like trapped. I don't like that. <clears throat> Bishop c2 is legal. Knight g6. He has to attack the rook. And now knight e5 is a good move. And he played it. Attacks the rook too. Queen d3 is good. Threatening mate. Rook f5 is legal. I mean, white's just winning here strategically because these pieces can't move. So very good play by white. Knight takes, terrible. You can't play rook takes because the queen comes in here. I'm not saying he did do that, but... Okay, queen e7 is correct. Trying to learn, stop playing low-rated player moves. Stop doing that. So trying to learn is like, I'm going to go here, and if he takes it, then I'll checkmate him. Don't ask trying to learn what he'll do if he doesn't take it. Don't ask him that. Yeah, you can't make moves like that. I mean, that's just terrible. So, I mean, every move wins. Moving the queen away, threatening the rook. F4 wins because connect four. Um, I like knight d4. I really like knight d4. I mean, if you're going to attack the rook, why not attack it with a knight instead of a rook? Yeah, rook f3 is just silly. All right, then his opponent hung mate. No, that pawn didn't do that. Bishop e5, now the game is equal. You hung your e-pawn. Boo, boo. Rook e1, playing for tricks. What's funny now is you can play rook takes f3. And now this isn't made anymore because the pawn's not on e5 anymore. This pawn mm. that was here. Oh, yeah. yeah, so this is like unclear. And queen g6 is a perpetual, is a, is a repetition. <clears throat> that move is bad. Bishop d6. Knight d4 is good. Rook takes f3. Seems to lose according to the engine because of what you did. Okay, I think the engine wants to play bishop h5. So you're threatening mate. Mm -hmm. Then you could take the rook at your leisure and at your leisure. Okay, but okay, this, I mean, knight takes has to be good. Man, e5 and it's equal? Wow. b5. All right, that's the first move in the game where I have no concept. I mean, maybe it was a mouse slip. Why did black play b5? Like, he's getting mated over there. What's B5? Yeah, I don't know. What's that got to do with anything? <clears throat> What's B5? E5, now you're talking, finally. <laughs> B5, wow. Now, when a move is bad, I explain it's bad, then I explain why the guy did it. I don't understand why the guy played B5. 500 cents of dues. I was going to donate 5,000 bits and post a game. But Discord says I don't have permission to send messages in your Discord. Uh, 
Yeah, people have said that. You are, you are, you're, uh, yeah. Somebody, somebody help him. Like trying to learn kangaroo, somebody. Yeah, do, do what, do what he says, kangaroo. Oh, you're logged in, Finbanko? Hmm. Yeah, make, 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 do, do what kangaroo says. I've had people, I've had people say they can't do stuff and nobody knows why. Mm -hmm. Like it's Discord's like no no. I don't understand why anybody would play B five. It's like I don't know what to do, so I'll play B five, and it's his move, which I like to do. But that's that's my secret. Okay, now you see how trying to learn. Well, if you don't know what to do, I mean, yeah. What's a a good move? <laughs> right now, see, Since they're in a normal person that would want to play Queen here, mate. Yeah. Would play bishop h5, threatening queen there, mate. Mm -hmm. Or you could drop your bishop back here and threaten queen g6, mate. It's, it's always mate. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the engine goes here as the first move. Trying to learn has to play the trickiest, how do I threaten mate but sneaky. So he plays here. Bam. He's always got to be, you know, he got to be the sneakiest. Mm -hmm. Right. And now the engine says... White's actually losing here. Now, Black intentionally gave his queen away. He saw he was losing his queen. He knew what was going on. But instead of giving his queen away, <clears throat> could have played queen f7, stopping queen g6 mate. And now the engine says Black is better because White can't. Mm -hmm. You know, he can't, you know. But trying to learn plays for tricks, and the tricks worked. See? Unfortunately, two bishops, what else? Knight d4. Now, what's funny is knight h4 is better with the same idea of pressuring here, but threatening queen g6. Mm -hmm. And I must admit, it's very difficult to stop queen g6 because you can't. So knight d4, that's just like strategical. That's no threats. Okay, he played there. He put it at h. Black should play bishop f8, trapping the queen. Keep the queen in there. Always play bishop f8. And queen a8. All right, and white's just completely winning, frankly. Now, this king walk, what game does that remind you of with the king over here? I don't know. Kasparov, Portish, Nick Sitch, 83. <laughs> of course. Well, what do you mean? How do you, how do you not think of that when you see that? Ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Um... Spencer, if you're watching, do you know that game? I assume he does. Spencer said yes. Man, Kasparov played great that game. Mm -hmm. That's one of Aviv's favorite games, but don't tell Spencer that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Aviv and that game are like, that, son. Yeah, he really likes that game. Okay. No, not Kasparov, Topola. That's the other side of the board. Oh, that's the king on A over here. Come on. <laughs> Nuts, oh, bitch, I hate that game. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, your dasher is on the way. Your order will arrive 934 to 939. You can't even make that joke up. That's that's what it says. Mm -hmm. it, it says N-E-I-N, 939. That's what it says, right? Uh, yeah. RDPX says, is Karen, did you play chess before you guys met? Yes. That is correct. That's how we met, is through chess. By the way, Spencer gets me. Hold on a second. Two dollar. Thank you. Spencer gets mad at me when I just uh, Carlson. When Carlson wins, if he wins, I'm not saying he won. You know, he's like equal and slightly better, and he wins a draw and ending. All right. And you know, he's good at that. There's, there's no doubt. Not as good as Karpov, but good. When Kasparov wins, then your king walks up the board. And it's embarrassing. Kasparov won a lot of games against a lot of super GMs that are just embarrassing. You're like, oh man, that guy's no good. Spencer will back me up too. That a lot of Kasparov's wins, it looks like his opponents can't play chess. And Carlson wins, he's just better than his opponent. He's like Karpov. But when Kasparov wins, you're like, whoa, scared. You got sorry. <clears throat> right, sweetie? Mm -hmm. All right. Karen agrees. They don't have the same style. No, Eric Rosen beat Carlson twice. I don't think Rosen knew either time he was playing Carlson. He beat him on Lee Chess, like, you know. 
What do you mean he didn't know he was playing Carlson? Because you know, he has a fake name. Oh. Yeah. Tim Hobbs 20 subscribed. Hooray. No, I mean, Kasparov has a lot of really good games you guys don't know. In Sicilians and Kings Indians. 9H1 against Paquette. Right? Okay. I mean, you know, in the Kings Indian. Games where he's black and a Sicilian, he just tears the guy apart. Let's rip this place apart. Now, my favorite Carlson game in that ilk, which I'm sure you know, is he was like, I don't know, 17. When I was 17, I had a very good attack. I had a very good attack. I played against mates. He's a Dutch GM. You never heard of him when he was 17. Right? Okay. You heard of Smates? Jan Smates? Uh, also, I'm not sure it was Smates, but Spencer knows the game, the Carol Khan. Yeah. Yeah, Spencer, was that, was that Smates, the Carol Kahn game? He owes Only me Spencer a, knows. He owes me a few tr uh, trillion VCDJ8. I forget. No, no. Smates beat me a thousand years ago in the UAE. Is this women a hostage? <laughs> yeah. I had COVID. It was funny. I could eat onion like an apple and drink vodka like water. Okay, which character on Seinfeld ate an onion thinking it was an apple? I don't know. Really? No. Well, you could guess, like, which one would do that. It, Kramer. Kramer's the obvious answer, and therefore incorrect. Oh, okay. The correct answer is, yeah, they said Kramer. Incorrect is George. Oh. What happened was, this is the episode where George couldn't see. He's getting his new glasses. He got mm -hmm. ladies' glasses. And before that, he stepped outside, and he thought he saw Jerry's girlfriend kissing Jerry's, like, cousin. And it turned out it was a police officer kissing her horse. That's what it turned out, <laughs> right? And he said, I can see. And then they're like, you're eating an onion, proving he couldn't see. Yeah. And he said, um, I love eating onions. No, oh, no. <laughs> Ridiculous. Yeah. Okay. Um, COVID X clam. Run while you can. Spencer, Spencer's not even here. Terrible. Then he drank tomato juice thinking it was milk. Now, wait a minute. The tomato juice milk thing, I thought that was Kramer because the light was shining in from the from the Kenny Rogers roasters and he just saw everything as red. So he thought the milk was red. So he thought it was tomato juice. Am, am I wrong? I've been wrong before. I seem uncomfortable. I'm not uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, you should, you're in your nice chair there. That's a nice chair. Thank you for worrying about me, though. <laughs> that was the first scene of the episode George is giving all this sexist talk about the man does this the woman does this and so forth and then she checkmates him and then he says I think we should break up also she was way too cute for him if you remember that episode nah I can't remember George got a lot of cute women on that episode because he's one of the stars of the show so <laughs> yeah it was Kramer no um they all were. 1,900 viewers to do. I already forgot I was on Chess TV. This, 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 oh, this, yeah. is, this is Karen. Now, mm -hmm. this is funny. This guy said Seinfeld's one of the best shows ever, and Spencer said incorrect. <laughs> Spencer, not a Seinfeld fan. Spencer prefers Curb Your Enthusiasm. Yeah. Bubble Boy episode is funny. Hey, Marielle 100. How's it going? Spencer likes Curb. That is correct. So many good Curb episodes. Okay, now, first of all, this game ended in a draw, I think. And, and, uh, uh, trying to learn's plus 11. Boo, boo. Okay, knight d2 check. That doesn't make any sense. Knight's great there. The king can't move. Queen a7, threatening checkmate. And queen takes bishop. Good, good. Winning immediately. Queen a7 resigns. Yeah, you want to move your knight. Your knight's great there in f3. King e5. I would definitely move it on up. f4 check. Confusing the audience. Forcing the king to safety. All right, still winning. Still winning. Queen e2. Interesting move. Doesn't d4 hang a bishop to this? No! No! Trying to learn? God damn! Queen e5 check. No. Boo. Boo. 
After this, he would have won. Because this is the only legal move, and then there. Yeah. No, he was in time trouble. He said, ignore the rest of the moves. 5,000 cents to dues. The game is on Discord. Hooray. Go Fen Beingold. You're only 120,000 cents. Very good. Yeah, that's a lot of cents to dues. Thank you, Fen Beingold. This is really funny. Watch this. You watching? I'm watching. Remember when he could have played here winning the bishop? And the guy's like, please take my bishop. And he's like, all right. See, he was very insistent. Mm -hmm. Now we're threatening 95 check, which is annoying. Yeah. All right, let's see if he stopped it. Hey, he stopped it. That's good. I'm confused. Did White not win this game? I don't think White won, but I hope he did. Like, if he blunders his queen for the rook, he still wins, and easily. Maybe he did win, and I'm wrong. I don't know. It's getting hard to believe that Trino and didn't win this. Mm -hmm. I don't know that he won. I don't think he did. Well, okay, the only way you don't win now is a stalemate. That's the only way you don't win. Queen H4 check. How do you find a move like that? God damn. <laughs> what do you mean? Queen H4 check. Ugh. He didn't have a lot of time Ooh, left. Like He's still two. winning, by the way. Okay. And then the game ended, but I don't know why. I guess somebody lost on time. <laughs> um, it doesn't even say the result. 200 cents to dues. Wait, what was the result? Like, White's winning here. Did White's time run out? Did Black's time run out? I'm guessing White's did. All right. Yay, 200 cents to yeah. This is actually interesting. King here, king here. All right, now, it turns out g5 and king g6 win. <clears throat> but king g6 is too easy, right? Yeah. So we got, yeah, so we got to play g5 here, here, here. Actually, you just play g6. So it, it's it, it, they're both too easy. Mm -hmm. Terrible. White flagged. No, no. Uh -huh. Man trying to learn, you were crushing him. Yeah, that was the greatest game ever until you didn't win because of time trouble. I'll play my games. Yeah, at the very end, queen h4 is such a weird move. Like in this position, here's why it's weird. Okay? So in this position, everything's happening here, right? Mm -hmm. Like white's queening, black's like, no, don't queen. And then the queen goes over here. Like that, it's not, not a bad move, it's just like weird. Like how would you see that? Like, I wouldn't consider that because it's, like, over there. <clears throat> if I was going to play over there, I said if, then I would push my H pawn. Mm -hmm. That's why it's weird. It's, like, a weird way of thinking. Yeah. Yeah, then that, that was a good way of thinking. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, whenever you're queening and you have no time on your clock, the guy's obviously going to try to stop you. So move your queen somewhere. It doesn't matter where. It, it does, any of the squares in red... That way the king can't legally get there and then do it. It only takes one more move. So it doesn't matter which square you go to. It's just stopping the king from going to the H pawn. Right? And then and then go here. <clears throat> or you could go here. Mm -hmm. One thing I've seen you do, and I've seen a lot of kids' tournaments, uh -oh. a lot of kids' tournaments, <laughs> basically every kid tournament, yeah. is when you have no time on your clock and you're yeah. pre-moving and you're winning, uh -huh. is you'll do this and then this, and then this. I see that. I see kids do that a lot, too. Yeah. So, like, instead of H4, you, like, you, you pre, but you're pre-moving. It doesn't matter. Pre-moving gets more important than making the right move. Always pre-move. Even mm -hmm. on move one. Pre-move. Yeah. The only time I do that is if they have some moves, too. If they don't have any moves, I do as you. I do a bunch of pre-moves to queen. Yeah. Is this my food at the front door? Mm -hmm. And they're like, let us in. Your order's been picked up. Your order's been crushed into a cube. You have 10 minutes to pick up your cube. Oh, you quit the tournament after that, trying to learn? No, I, I kicked him out of the tournament. Mm -hmm. I banned him. Yeah, thank you, Last Trace. <laughs> All right, Nightbot knows what's up. I'm tired. Yeah. I'm going to have to take a nap. 2001, a space advantage. No, we lost a lot of viewers when mm -hmm. I said that. Boo, boo. 
Let's see. No, it was a Futurama. That was obviously Simpsons. Yeah. Ahoy hoy. Uh, that's my favorite line maybe in all of Futurama is when mom says, I'm off to some charity BS for some knocked up teenage sluts. Mm -hmm. That's a great line. Industrial sandpaper. Uh, good job, good job. Next game? Oh, yeah, I forgot. All right, so we've done a lot of analysis. Oh, I have to do Fen Beingold, then we'll have another tournament. Mm -hmm. But Fen Beingold gave me fit de bucks. So, you know. And then some more. Yeah. That's right, he gave me a little bit of money to tease me, then 50 bucks. Mm -hmm. I'm 2300, opponent is 2200. It's a 3 0 game. I play technically incorrect on move nine. Nine. But I want to analyze my attacking ideas. He had many ways to go wrong. Look for 5,000 bits. All right. Yay. It took me a long time to remember that. All right. And then it's, and then let's see. So this is 2,300 uh, plus, plus tax against 2,200 plus. It's a three minute game. All right, and it's Sven Beingold. Good name. More. There are no more. <laughs> it looks like a steakhouse, but handles like a bistro. Uh -huh. Yeah, that is a good line. <laughs> the number you have, the restaurant you have called has crashed into a planet. Please try again later. Mm. In the same episode. Mm. What a great episode that was. That's the Giant Women episode. I've seen that one. And, and that episode... You guys probably have this, but it says, the fembot says, do you know what it's, I can't remember remember the line and Spencer remembers it and Kangaroo does. Do you know what it's like being a fembot in a mambot's manputer's world? And then Bender says, what? Mm -hmm. All right, for a trillion dollars, who plays the fembot? Uh, I'm not going to know. B. Arthur. Okay. Didn't see that coming. No. Yeah. Is B. Arthur alive? I don't think so. Ish don't think so? I don't think so. What do you guys think? Is B. Arthur alive? I think she died in the last couple of years. Yeah, I've, I've watched Seinfeld stand-up. It's terrible. Pretty yeah. sure. It's horrible. Yeah, I thought she died. Yeah, he's not funny. Master Riddler. <laughs> Did you explain how our fundamentals make up for our inability to talk? They still laugh. Death to the humans. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was. <laughs> was Arthur. <laughs> That's good. I give you a I'd give you a a, a sub but you're a sub. <laughs> now plain true is quoting one of the best Simpsons. Mm -hmm. Hey Sucker Kid. It's where Homer intentionally gains weight to get on disability. I've seen that. And he needs one. to call but he can't because says your fingers are too fat. Please mash the keypad <laughs> to order a special dialing one. <laughs> yeah. That has one of the best lines in Simpsons history. There's gas is gonna escape and kill everybody and Homer sort of accidentally plugs up the hole because he's so fat. So the <laughs> gas doesn't escape his lip pipe. And, and then Bart says, who would have ever thought that dad's ass would prevent the escape of toxic gases? Mm -hmm. That's one of the greatest Simpsons line. The greatest Simpsons line ever, probably, is when Principal Skinner and, and Bart are fighting. And he says, you've waved your nuts in my face long enough. Eat shrimp. One is a shrimp allergy, one is a nut allergy. Okay. It's a funny scene. Yeah. Oh, she died of breast cancer. I guess she yeah, died she further back than I thought. I thought she died. Man, that was a great, that, that was great. <laughs> Bake them away, toys. <laughs> yeah, and so forth. All right. So this is, this is whatever his name is versus the other guy. Fen Beingold and probably I'm black, I don't know. Uh, your order's been picked up. Okay, when was that? Five minutes. Okay, we got plenty mm -hmm. of time. All right. So we have a Smith Mora. What's your first name? I don't know. <laughs> well, I'm Karen. Bishop E7 is a ben. weird move. Now, Fen Beingold played a move that I like. I guess because I'm Ben Feingold. Yeah. Right. And he says this move's no good, but like just forget about it. Okay. I agree. I would also play this move in three minute. Knight D5. It's not a good move, but it's three minute, so it's acceptable. Mm. 
Okay, so sacks of peas. He's got the open lines. He's, you know, something. So this is funny. Like here, I would barely consider B5, but the engine says B5 is a million times better than any other move. So that, that's amazing. Like the B5 here attacking the bishop? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it says otherwise white's like almost okay. Knight A5 is what I would expect. Right. And then, okay, B5. Yeah, see, the thing is, here's, here's the difference, Karen. If you play B5, obviously white doesn't want to trade pieces. White's sacking a piece here. If you go here, now I play knight B4. And then this is attacked, this is attacked. You know, we're doing stuff. Mm -hmm. So if you play knight A5 and then here, now the knight's like sort of no good here. Okay. Bishop G5. Now the engine likes bishop D2. And this is a hard move to play when you're trying to attack on the king side to just like develop a piece, put pressure on the knight. And after this move, you can see the queen is overworked. The queen is stopping d6. Obviously, after d6, it's a play. Queen takes d6 because uh -huh. the bishop's pinned. Well, the queen's defending this. So if it was white to move, white could either take this and then play d6 or play d6 and then take this. Then we have rook c1 and we keep, you know. So it's hard to play bishop d2 because you're, you're looking at this king and you're trying, you know. So this is like a hard move like for you know, anybody to find. Uh -huh. So it, it's, it's not that white is doing well. It's just that that's you know, the engine. You could also play knight d4 with the obvious idea of knife f5. Because knife f5 is pretty good. d6. Okay. So knight d4 right now is the engine move. Bishop g5, that's a very human move. You can guess who won the game. Yeah, that's a very bad move. Okay, you can't play knight f6. And again, <clears throat> what nobody understands, especially at 2200, but in a year he'll understand it. Because according to Reddit, if you're 2200, you'll be a grandmaster in a year. About a year. Yeah. Right, first we'll think apple side. 1,000 centidues. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, apple side. Here's what low rated players don't understand. Wow. They look at the position and they're like, F6 stops all the threats, which it does. Mm -hmm. But then later in the game, you have unsolvable problems, also insolvable. Okay. And if you put them in water, they're insoluble. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Because now this is weak forever. This knight can't go here forever. Horrible. Mm -hmm. Okay. So F6 is a terrible move. So basically any move but F6. The engine says any move but F6. That just ruins your position for the rest of the game. And white's not even winning here. But what's going to happen is the engine says it's like equal or white's a little better. But white's down a piece. So the engine thinks white has a piece worth of compensation. That means a human can't defend with black. Black's position makes no sense. Mm. But black's up a piece. But if you're a human, you can't defend. White just puts his rook on the open line. He puts his other rook on the open line. D6. Knight D4, F5, like Steinitz, obviously. I'm sure you're thinking Steinitz von Bartleben. Knight D4. Remember we played D5, Knight D4. I mean, so this is just really difficult to play for black. Okay, Rook C1. Queen D6 is best. You play Queen B8. That's losing, actually. Like, Queen D6 is a hard move to play because Knight F5 is coming with tempo later. Bishop G3 is coming with tempo. So I understand not playing Queen D6. I mean, you can't, if you're a human, you can't play this position. You have to be an engine. Okay. Now, bishop h4 is good. Bishop g3, obviously. And bishop d2 is good because not only are you threatening the knight, but you want to play bishop b4 also and put pressure here. They're both good. Knight b7 is ridiculous. You can't play like that. Black is just like, I hope I can hold on. The answer is you can't. Mm -hmm. You can't just defend, 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 and have all your pieces on the first rank. This is like Morphe Amateur, and Kasparov is the amateur. For a trillion dollars, when Kasparov said that, who was he playing? I, I don't even know what he said. He said, he said this game was like Morphe versus Amateur, and I was the amateur. Who was his opponent? And Kasparov said that? Mm -hmm. Pretty humble for Kasparov. He's among the greatest humble in history, along with Calculon. Let's see if the chat can get it after, you know, you, you answer. Um, 
Maria is approaching with my order. Mm -hmm. Maria doesn't sound like an Indian kind of. All right. I don't know. Kramnik. Kramnik's a good answer. The chat didn't know either. The chat just saying random, like, good players. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> no, the answer is Wesley So, which some of you got. And it was a Blitz game. And So just tore him to shreds. Mm. To pieces, you say. Mm -hmm. so, uh, Futurama. To pieces? Yeah, that's what uh, Professor Farnsworth said. Okay, 2,195 viewers, 1,900 subs. They're calling me. Can you take care of that? Mm -hmm. You know, the food and yeah. you know, whatever. They shouldn't call. They should just leave the food at the door, but they don't like doing that at a business. At our house, they just leave the food and leave. Here, they're like, well, it's a business. We can't do that. Even though it says they'll do it on the thing, you know, no contact. COVID. So you have to understand, if you don't see a forced win for white, that's fine, but black's position looks ridiculous. Like, we're on move 15, and look, Black looks like he's playing chess 960. You see what I'm saying now? If you understand what I'm saying, donate. Where'd Karen go? Did she get kidnapped? Yeah. I hope my food is still here. Yeah. Oh, the cam's out of focus? That's because Karen left. That'll fix it. Yeah, maybe. Did that fix it? I can't tell. I can't see very well, so maybe it's not in focus. I don't know. But the camera refuses to focus. When Karen shows back up, then, you know. Well, that's because Karen left. So it was focused on us and she left. So now the camera's confused. Do you want to be my friend? Thank you in advance. What? You're banned in your children's children. Oh, I know what happened. The person can't find the place. Because it says chess club and we're the only chess club like within 100,000 miles. So that's why. The Kramer went cray cray in a good way. Can I versus you in some chess? No. We're like in the middle of something here. But if we weren't, then no. Our comedian, our, our commanda, 25? No. It's Karen. 50 50, she has the food. Hey, I deal with it every time you don't have to tell me. I know. But it was fine. It was fine? What do you mean? Where was the person? Somewhere else? She was down by the pottery store. Yeah. See, and let me explain what the problem is. Obviously, there's some incompetence with delivering the food. But here's another issue this shopping center. Every business has the same address. We're all 2500 Old Alabama Road, and we have different suite numbers. You can't see the suite numbers. Yeah. It does say chess club. So going to a place that's not the chess club, instead of driving, there's like nine businesses and finding the, the chess club one. That's, what? I think what happens is when they realize they're 2500, there's no way the other ones can be 2500. So they're just like, I don't care if it says chess club. This is 2,500. It just doesn't seem that hard and to me. When we tried to get a place for our chess club years ago, I told Karen, look, there's only one caveat. It, the address has to be in the 2,500s because, you know, I'm a grandmaster. So we looked all over the city to find an address that was 2,500. Now, Karen, feeling homesick for her home state of Alabama, said it has to be on a road that has Alabama in it. So this was the only place that we could get, 2500 Old Alabama Road, and then we scooped it up. Is that what happened? My story. <laughs> exactly. Darn. Couldn't you turn that around and say it's really sharp? White makes one slow move? No, because this is just terrible. Yeah, let's get the food out. I mean, I'm not going to eat on the stream. I mean, I have I mean, I will, so, you know. Yeah. 500 cent to do's. Um, I thought you were 2,600. This isn't my game. This is a game from Fen Beingold. Not Ben Feingold. How could you be so confused? Fen Beingold. God damn. Terrible. 
Um, have you gone to buy buy hair Brazilian wax? Exactly. Somebody has, you know, Google or something. Yeah. Yeah. Who was Urasov? He made a gambit. Yeah. What? Why am I opening this? This is what they call a lot of noise. That's good. All right, this is Papa Dom. They gave us three of the sauces that I legally can't eat and you hate. That, that's nice yeah, of them. Yeah, I like the brown sauce. No, no, this one. Oh. They gave us three of those. Yeah, oh, that, yeah. What? I can't have the green sauce because it has yogurt, which has dairy. And Karen doesn't like the green sauce. So they just gave us a million of those. It's like they knew. All right, and then this one of these is mango chutney. Now, mango chutney is so spicy that even if you're watching the stream, you might, you know, careful, right? It's a little too spicy for you. Amazing. What is? Papa Dom? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I said, do you want Papa Dom? And you said, yeah, and I got Papa Dom. I yeah. got confused about. Yeah. And I was thinking samosa. But I did get samosa, but that's, that's for me. Yeah. Yeah, that's for closer, samosa. Closer? Yeah, Glen Gray, Glen Ross. Yeah. It's for closers. Now, this can't be opened. I hope Fem Beingold appreciates this analysis of the food. People on Chess TV are like, what the son of a... Which one's that? That's just onion chutney. Mm -hmm. All right, and this green chutney, it does match the color of my Perrier. So you gotta, you gotta approve of that. I've had Indian food in approximately 12 countries. Approximately, frankly. If you live in the United States and you want good Indian food, I recommend Chicago. Now, there's an Indian, like, there's this great Indian, it's a community, and they have fantastic restaurants, and it's across the river from New York City. It's like, not Jersey City, but maybe. It's some city in Jersey, and they have like an Indian, like, uh, I haven't been there, but that's also obviously good Indian. Frankly. Uh, <clears throat> 99 cent to do's. Yeah, I like the tamarind sauce also. Yeah. No okra? Which Indian grandmaster's favorite food is okra? Mm -hmm. I don't know, I don't know. Let's see if you guys know. I'll give a sub if you're not a sub. Which Indian grandmaster's favorite food is okra? You win a sub if you're right, if you're not a sub. All right, the first right answer and the second right answer and the third right answer are all subs. So I'm not giving a sub away. Uh, let's see, unless somebody got it before that. Yeah. No, the answer is Hare Krishna, obviously. Anand loves Oprah? No, he does not. Yeah, not Ramesh Babu Pragnananda. Ridiculous answer. Isn't this the last year for okra? I assume he means Oprah Winfrey. Got to assume something. All right, I got my Mulligatawny soup. All right, which character on Seinfeld says... Oh, like a tawny, and like cries while he says it. Probably George. No. Oh. It's a side character. Oh. Let's see who gets it first. Yeah, they all got it. Yeah. <laughs> Kangaroo has a Nightbot thing for it. It's the Soup Nazi. Oh, they didn't all get it. They didn't know. Mm -hmm. The Soup Nazi says it when Elaine steals his recipes. Mm. And he says, Mulligatani, he cries because she has the recipes for all of his soup. Okay. Yeah, he didn't like that. So the soup Nazi was on the final episode of Seinfeld mm -hmm. and he's making food for people in town, which makes no sense. And then Poppy, right? He asked for like salt or pepper to spice the food up and the soup Nazi takes away his food. He can't have it because it's insulting asking for it. Yeah. Go soup Nazi. Okay, who says, which character says, Jambalaya. 
Newman is correct. I remember that. That's right. <laughs> oh, there's nothing in there? So I have to steal the one from the previous restaurant. They didn't give me give us any stuff. Mm-hmm. That, they, they always do that. If you're at a business, they don't give you stuff. They figure you have stuff. Terrible. Um, maybe the dingo ate your baby. Who said that on Seinfeld? Elaine. Correct. <clears throat> she was pretty proud of herself, too, when she said it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, what I'm trying to explain to you guys is after knight b7, queen b8, f6, very poor moves. And by the way, the lower rated you are, the worse you defend. Some of you guys that are rated 900, 1200, you play good attacking moves because you do 10,000 puzzles a day and you're looking for forced wins and so forth. When your opponent's attacking you, your, your defense is shallow and pedantic. Do you agree? Garen agrees. You guys don't defend well. Lower rated players attack like a thousand points better than they defend. Defending's not easy. The reason Black's losing is because he's always going to be losing. I mean, White could play King H1, King G1, King H1, he's still going to be winning. Because Black's position is permanently destroyed. And right now the engine says White's up 3.29. And Karen's furious, she's kicking the table. Man, she's bad. Okay, Bishop G3 is good. Obviously, Rook Fe1 is good, Morphe style. Get all the pieces in. But okay, Bishop G3 is good. By the way, this is very similar, this kind of position, to Kasparov versus random GMs. He sacks a piece and gives them the smackdown. And I refer you to the game Kasparov Ulf Anderson, although I don't know what year it was, sorry. And Anderson's black. And at the end of the game, he says, I don't want to play with Kasparov anymore. But it was similar to this. F6. Horrible. Maybe Spencer can find the game or somebody. Kasparov's white. Sacks material. And just Anderson can't move the whole game. I've never been so mad. I'm always blurry because you were here, then you left, and it was blurry. Now they're saying it's blurry again, but it's not. It's fixed. Hooray. <laughs> um, Kasparov Anderson, 81. 81. Eight, yeah, yeah, he was about 18. I agree. Yeah. Is Spencer quoting something? Or he's, I mean, he wouldn't say that about himself. What are you quoting? Puddle of mud. Oh, okay, I don't know Puddle of Mud. I know, like, one song. Yeah. Favorite game from 1953? Well, the answer you're looking for is Avrabakotov, right? You guarantee it? That's the answer he wants. He wants Avrabakotov. No, no, that's what he wants. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll wait. We'll wait a second. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm, Yeah, he said yes. Okay. Now... There's another great game from that tournament. I mean, there's many great games. There's a, one of my favorites. I forgot who was white. I think it was Kara's Irva, and Irva won with black. I think. It could be that Irva was white, and I'm confused. <clears throat> and white will, like, quadrupled on the H file. I don't know how. I don't know how he did it. And Irva's like, whatever, and just, like, plays in the center. And, like, there's 700 pieces around the king, and he's like, yeah, whatever. And then black won. If you know the game I'm talking about. Yeah, obviously Zurich 53. Obviously. Finally. <clears throat> okay, so D6. Not bad, not bad. Man, Karen can't stop kicking the table. She's furious. I didn't kick it. What? I didn't kick it, but huh? What'd you do? I was trying to scoot over. Right. Um, no, I'm going over another game now. Okay. Now Rook F E1. Also knight d4 is good. Because there's a plethora of places to penetrate, and you don't need KY to get into any of them. Right? That's the kind of analysis you usually don't see on other streams. Right, sweetie? Probably not. Probably not. God damn. Kara Smyslov? I thought Irva was black. Are you sure it was Smyslov? By the way, 
Whenever I talk about Zurich 53, the gawking rabble are like, Zurich 53, I have that book. And I'm like, who won the tournament? And they're like, what? Dummies. They don't get that joke on Chess TV. The people who run Chess TV, yeah. They don't understand my jokes. <clears throat> Pretty sure it was Irva, not... Maybe it was Irva Kares, but I thought it was... Okay, anyway, who cares? All right, so Rook H E one, Rook F E one, not as good, not as incisive as Knight D four. Now Black played the excellent Bishop G four. Obviously, Black wants to trade pieces because then he gets mated less. So that's why Knight D four is good. Black's never going to take any of White's pieces, and the Knight has you know all these good squares like C six. Goddamn. So after Rook F E one, which is still good, now Black is sort of back in the game because he's going to get rid of that Knight. Okay, and he does. Okay, again, there's some permanent issues here. King F8, unpitting his bishop. I don't like King F8. I don't care if it's the best move. Okay, now the engine says white's slightly better, but the engine's wrong. Because in the long run, black can't do anything. The game goes on and on and on, and white just wins. Because black can't do anything. That's the worst bishop ever, worst knight, worst rook, bad king, bad rook. And white's pieces are all perfect. So... If you had a stronger engine, and like, you know, what's the stockfish called on the internet? The one with 5,000 cores, a billion cores, a trillion cores. What? Alpha zero. No, no, better than Alpha Zero. What's the one that looks at Magnus' games all the time? It's like 40 stockfishes added up. Yeah, Cess. If Cess looked at this, it would just say White's doing great. But this only has, you know, depth 22. I mean, you might as well have me look at it. That's no good. Yeah, sub zero is correct, Fen buying gold. Very good. <clears throat> okay, so queen e4. The engine says bishop f5 is the best. All right. Knight c5 is double question mark, and the game's over. Now it's a three minute game. So I don't blame him. Now, <clears throat> I'd like to explain something to Fen buying gold. Big money, big money, big money, no whammy. Stop. Three dollars. I'll stay for at least ten more minutes. That's correct, Inky. Well, he's feeling kinky. Yay. First of all, you should be insulted that your opponent played knight c5. The reason is, if knight c5 is good, if, then queen e4 is absurd. So he's insulting you by saying queen e4, what an idiot. I'm serious. If knight c5 was a good move from his psychological point of view, then why the hell did you play queen e4? He's just saying, oh, my opponent's no good. That's why he played queen e4. Knight c5. Now, when I'm playing a grandmaster in a slow tournament, and I think they made a bad move, and I can play like knight c5, I'm like, whoa, they're a grandmaster. I'm missing something. And then, now if I'm playing, you know, one of you guys in a tournament, then I'm like, all right. Then see knight c5. Right. So after knight c5 double question mark, you just take it and this is pinned. So knight c5 is ridiculous. Okay. Now, the way to avoid blundering like that in the future for any of you, it's not going to help. Okay. In this position, this and this are on the same diagonal because I said so. Stop that. Okay. That's bad for the queen. Bad. Okay, and this and this are on the same file. That's bad for the king. That's why you play king f8. So as soon as bishop g3 d6 was played, in the back of his mind, he should have realized that pawn is pinned. Like every move. And then you don't make a move where you, your d pawn has to move. Okay, and then, you know, embarrassing, ridiculous. Formerly 5IT subscribe, thank you. All right, then he gave it away. All right. Queen f4 is good. Bishop f5 is legal. Rook takes d5 is good. Rook d4 is ridiculous. Forcing the queen to attack you. Horrible. g4 I like. h4 I like. g5? God damn. No respect. Okay. 
Rook H3 was better, but that's hard to see. Attacking the knight, the knight can't move. <clears throat> I understand Rook F3. There's, Rook H3 is better. Doesn't matter. All right. Truth hurts. Yeah. That game proves something that I say a lot on the stream. People just can't defend. You can attack. Maybe it's unsound. And eventually you win anyway. And I have a lot of games on the stream like that, which look devastating like this. But when you fine tooth comb them, you're like, oh, you know, black should have played this and black should have played that. And black made like a million mistakes. Not because he's a bad player. He's a bad but because he had a position where he had to defend accurately. You guys don't do anything accurately. So if a guy has like 20 mates in one, and you have the one defense that wins or draws, you, you guys, you know, terrible. Man, Black didn't attack or defend. God damn, you guys are harsh like me. By the way, there's very similar ideas in poker. Okay, so let's say Karen has a bad hand, so she checks. And then I have a bad hand, so I bet. And then Karen's like, I have a bad hand, and my opponent bet, so I fold. If that's the way you look at poker, you know, Karen's not going to be a winning player against the best players in the world. All she has to do is avoid playing them and playing against you guys, right? And then, here's what you guys will do wrong against Karen. Here's what you'll do. You, maybe not Dominic. Karen will fold, and you win the hand. Karen will fold, and you'll win the hand. Karen will fold, and you'll win the hand. And eventually, Karen raises it up, okay? That doesn't matter what cards you have. You still lose. You could have five queens. She's going to have six queens, okay? And then you guys will be like, oh, raise and call. And then you're like, oh, I lost the hand. I can't believe it. That's how she's going to beat you guys. 200 cents to do's. Good job, Fen. <clears throat> So when you play somebody who folds 400 hands in a row and then they raise the next hand, you lose. Now I'll tell you a funny poker story because I'm eating. I used to play a lot of Casino Windsor and there was a guy who showed up with another guy and they were bodybuilders, okay? Oh, <coughs> steroids. Okay, anyway, one guy we called the monster, okay? He was, a, he was a big boy. He weighed like 500 pounds and was just muscle. Right, he was, and he was like six, seven. Okay, he'd look at his cards and he would like laugh and giggle and make all kinds of stuff. Okay, so like you bet, he looks at his cards and laughs and then he folds. Okay, so he did, he did this for weeks. Okay, one day, I was, I, I mean, I never stopped laughing. He looked at his cards and he went like that and he went all in like really fast. He went like that, all in, okay? The flop had already come. And one guy at the table said, I call, and we all laughed and laughed. We never stopped laughing. It was the funniest thing ever. Man. What do you think he had, Karen? I want, like, the monster. Yeah. Guess what his hand was? What? A monster. Yeah, he had at least four aces. He didn't have a straight flush. He just had, he just had quads. That was really funny. Now, tied for equally funny, I've already told this story. Same casino, different night. Elderly woman sits to my right. She's, I don't know, 77. I'm guessing, but okay. And she plays and we're playing. And then after about an hour, somebody bet and she said, I raise. And then she opened her purse and took cash out. Now, that's a raise that we all laughed. Yeah. Then the dealer said, you can't do that. And then the guy who bets said, here's my money that the hand's over. <laughs> Opening her purse and taking the money out, that was the best. No, the, the monster doesn't know what bluffing is. The monster looks at his hand and he, he like shakes his head or he goes like that. He doesn't know, he doesn't know what bluffing is. He's the monster. He knows I'd have a lot of muscles. <laughs> I raise you a golden globe. That's right. <laughs> I raise, open my purse. God damn. It was like a Simpsons episode. <clears throat> One of the funniest jokes on, on Family Guy 
is they're explaining to Peter what a great poker face he has. Mm -hmm. And they do a flashback of him playing poker. <clears throat> and he says something like, I raise or I call. And they're like, wow, what a poker face. And his face is blank. They didn't draw his face. Oh. Like, it's just nothing there. Like, wow, what a poker face. Uh, good cartooning. <clears throat> and I'm dying of, you know, COVID and cough and stuff. All right. Uh, what's going on here? Ten and a half hours? Let's have a tournament. <clears throat> well, I used to tease the monster. I would say, like, you better lay that hand down and kick your ass. And he would laugh. He thought I was hilarious. Yeah. I was going to kick his ass. <clears throat> but, you know, karate man bleed on the inside. I'm a peaceful man. <clears throat> God, COVID. All right, let's have a tournament. You want to play or just watch? Yeah, I'll play. So what time control? It's your chess club. Mm. Well, it's your stream. Well, it's your stream because you own the chess club. And so I'm... <laughs> uh, have I got another three minutes. Ooh, making the crowd mad. I like it. All right, we'll start at 2210. And we've streamed 10 and a half hours. <clears throat> Mulgatani soup is actually good for my throat. And we'll have nine rounds. Nine. They don't like three minutes? No, they like five minutes more, I think. Karen loves one minute. That means the guy who said it loves one minute. Yeah. He's trying not to learn. Uh -huh. One minute's not good for a 12-hour stream. Ten minutes good for a 12-hour stream. I will never miss night D4, <coughs> says Fen Beingold. I'll talk about that for a second. Let's do five minutes. I'm going to go there. I'm going to the restroom now. How long before it starts? Uh, seven rounds. Um, ten minutes or you want more? I'll give you more. No. All right. Let me explain something to you, Fen Beingold. There's a lot of openings where there's certain characteristics, like in the Bugs Bunny episode, when Bugs Bunny asked the abominable snowman, what are the distinguishing characteristics of a snowman? Then the snowman puts him down, he says, duh, and he starts, and then Bugs Bunny leaves. Okay. <clears throat> in a lot of openings where, especially the Sicilian, and sometimes in the King's Indian, sometimes, and sometimes in the Accelerated Dragon, and sometimes in the Benoni, when black moves the D-pawn and the B-pawn, then C6 is weak. And that has to be part of who you are. You can't be like, oh, C6 is weak. I'm going to wake up now. You just have to know that. You have to sense that. So when you're black and you're moving your D-pawn and your B-pawn, you're weakening C3 or C6, depending on what color you are. And that's why you should never play F3, because you're weakening everything around your king or F6. And if F3 and F6 win, don't play them against me, because I'll be embarrassed.